So we're just going to use like versions of it too, which kind of sounds odd. Like but we'll talk about that in a minute. Um, if you just want to get down the formal definitions here. Okay. So, Pythagorean theorem is how you find missing sides of a right triangle. Um, your sides A and B are your legs. And side C is called the hypotenuse, which we already know. What else do you guys know about the hypotenuse? You don't know? It's the longest side, yeah. And A squared plus B squared equals C squared. And then remember... Your hypotenuse is across from what angle? Yep, your right angle. And then I'm going to show you a little demonstration as to why this works. Because someone figured it out? Yeah. It's just logic. It's logic. Some smart person thought of it, though. 20 bucks, his name was Pythagoras. <laughs> okay, I'll just show you a little YouTube video. So the area of those two squares, which have the same sides of your legs, fill up the area of the square that has the same length as your hypotenuse. Wow. Oh, it's going to go. Because how do you find the area of a square? Of a square. Yeah, length times width, but what do you guys know about the sides of a square? They're the same. So, let's give this a little pause. Look. So let's pretend this length right here was A. This whole thing would be A squared. What? B and B would give you an area of B squared. C squared up top. C and C, which gives you C squared. Whoa. Why couldn't it just be C if you ask me? So that's even the area of a square. Do we need to watch it again? Yeah. Yeah, that was great. Oh, I gotta do this though. Is she moving? There she goes. Incredible what people come up with. All right, that was fun. Thanks for playing. Okay. Uh, back to notes. View full screen. Okay, so we're going to use versions of the Pythagorean theorem to decide what kind of a triangle we have. So what do I mean by that? So you're, you're going to start with your biggest leg first, your C squared. And if C squared is less than your A squared plus B squared, then it's acute, an acute triangle. If your C squared equals your A squared plus B squared, well, we already know it's a right triangle because that's the Pythagorean theorem. And then lastly, C squared is greater than A squared plus B squared. It's obtuse. Which makes sense, right? So we usually think of obtuse things that are larger, that have a bigger angle. That's why I remember it greater than it's big. I don't know if you want to maybe like highlight or underline this part, but just keep C on the left and keep your brain um, more organized when you're doing this. Try one? Yeah. All right. It says first determine if the three side lights could form a triangle. You guys remember how to do that? Add the two small ones that must be true. Bigger. bigger than the third, so let's check it out. What's three plus seven? Is ten bigger than nine? Yes. Okay, so we're good to go there. And now we can try it out. Wait, that's A, B, and nine. Yep, because what's your biggest one? C. Nine. So we're going to have nine squared. We leave it blank because we don't know what it's going to be yet. 
And then we're just going to pick 3 squared plus 7 squared. And this order doesn't matter over here. We don't care. And now we just crunch it out. What's 9 squared? 81. Leave it blank. What's 3 squared? 9. 7 squared? 49. What's 9 plus 49? Now I can compare. How does 81 compare to 58? It's greater than? Which one? Yeah, so you have to determine what kind of a triangle it is. And it's obtuse. Obtuse triangle. Good work. Okay, let's try this one. What's 5 plus 11? 16. Is 16 greater than 16? No. No, so it's not possible. Because I can't even form a triangle like that. It just make a line. I can just pancake down to be down. How about you try the next one? You give it a start. Oh. See what you can come up with. Those two are bigger. Good. That's a good start. Don't you add them? Did you add, add 20 and 21 together? Yeah, just to make sure you can form a triangle. That's step one. And if, it, if it's smaller, it doesn't work, right? Here, if this is a no, then you're done. No, but does it have to be bigger or can it, as long as it's just not equal? It has to be bigger. I got it. I got the answer. Okay, hold on to it. Don't tell anybody. They don't. So. I don't remember what this is off the top of my head. What'd you guys get? Right. You're so right. I was right in. Okay. That was good. Are you okay with that? Yes. All right. One more. If they make you graph it, we just got to see what we're given. So plot those points. And you're doing the exact same thing, except we're just not giving the numbers we have to find on our own by graphing. Yeah. I think how good we are at it now. I'm terrible. I believe in you. I believe in you. I believe in you. So I know we can look at this and we can tell it's right because this, these lines are perpendicular, but it's a bad example on my part. I should have picked a different one, but we're going to pretend we don't know that. Okay, so I'm sure. What if it's uh, 89 degrees? I like your thought. Maybe it's 89. Let's just make sure. Okay, so if you can count how long your sides are, count. How long is x, y? Six. How long is x, z? Eight. And now we do have to do the distance formula from y to z. Just one time. So do the distance formula for me one time. So distance from y to z. Question, what's the distance formula? All right. x2 minus x1 squared plus y2 minus y1 squared. I'm going to use x2, y2, I can't reach. You don't have to do x at all then? No x. No x. No x. Y and z. 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 Y and z.
Just Y and Z. Are there any of these on our homework? Yes, there's one or two. I can't remember. Okay. That's why we're doing it together. Money, don't give us homework over CIE. That's why I'm giving you so much time to do your homework today. Do you guys get 10? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, now from here, what do we do to figure out what kind of triangle it is? Do you have to 6 plus 8 give me a bit number bigger than 10? Yeah, now we just run our test again. So we'll have 10 squared, leave it blank. What, Hayden? What'd you guys get? Yeah. Oh, so it was a red angle. I, oh my. They're so tricky. Well, I didn't even notice. Show me the